Horse Head Nebula. <laughs> Cut. I want to be able to see this. I want to be able to, uh, I'm going to put the one from the desk into the shot behind Mr. Coffee. And uh, we deal with the sound issues. We're ready to uh, rock this puppy. Is that easy? Yeah. We can make this work. Hello, Cam Carlisle. We're here in the studio talking about amazing achievements in today's interview. We are privileged to have Sarkis, the man that one the Google Bike magazine has referred to as the next Bill Gates. Interwear calls him tomorrow's best upgrade today. And Dead Sky Magazine tells him he's the Carl Sagan of the new digital universe. Here to enlighten all of us on the growing relevance of ones and zeros in our ever-expanding galaxy, Joe Coffey. Okay, okay. Ready? Yes. Okay, camera ready. Action! Thank God I'm not shooting for some. Jeez! Hey, I told you nothing to worry about. Yeah, only 15 minutes late. Tell me. Where can I park my car? Over here, back it up right over here. Where can I park my car? Back it up right over here. Thank God I'm not shooting for sound. What are you shooting for? Just running color bar. Testing the equipment, making sure everything's in working order. Clever idea, huh? Turn that f***ing thing off. Turn it off! Damn, brother, you gotta lay off the coffee. That's what I'm, I'm doing. sorry I'm late. I'll be inside. I ran into trouble on the 5. There was an accident by the 134. Well, you know how crazy everybody drives around here. That's okay. We're just glad to have you, Dick. Deborah Rodriguez. Deborah, Mr. Dick Dillman. What kind of name is that exactly? Dick Dillman. <laughs> really? It got bad. Dick Dillman? Yeah, it got even worse. They started calling me You care to see why? Now, that's a lovely That's a very thought. colorful image, sir, but I'm so I'll pass. Thank you very much. Okay, is everybody Get happy? Get out of my face. Yeah. Turn it off. Turn it off. Yeah. All right, team. Wow. Uh, excuse me. Yikes. Wow, listen to the sound, man. Hey, Dick, is this even going to work? Nice office. Thanks. I'd offer everybody some coffee, but my girl didn't show today. She's a lousy office manager, but a master with the evil bean. That's all right. We'll send Tony. He can use my machine. There's some coffee in the cabinet. Should, um... I love the stuff, but I don't have a clue how to make it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have Tony make some as soon as we're we set up. Hey, right? let me introduce you to the room. Joe Coffey, Ms. Cam Carlisle, talent <laughs> extraordinaire. Yeah. Ms. Deborah Rodriguez, sound. Senorita. Mr. Coffey. Mr. Dick Dillman, behind the lens. Richard. I feel like I'm introducing the fans. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, the backbone of the operation, Tony Povo. Well, Tony, I for one can appreciate hard work. That's how I built all mine. Hands-on know-how and the attitude of a bitch. Hey, it's a unisex world in this new millennium. I, for one, am proud to say I can be as big a bitch as any woman ever was. All right, Joe. What I was thinking was uh, you and Cam across the edge of the desk, uh, your desk. Uh, intimate interview, telling the story of how it all began. That way we can make use of the Zen ball thing you got going on 14 here. 14 orbs radiating a positive energy flow. Six negative, that's a plus balance of eight, which, of course, is my strongest number. It's all about the synergy. How do you distinguish the positive balls from the negative balls? By the content of their flow. It's not all that mystical. See it, say it, be it. All of life is a practice in self-actualization. These balls give me my chi simply because I have the audacity to say so out loud. I see it in my head, I say it out loud, it comes to be. Once said, words become their own cause and effect. Yeah, no, that's cool. The balls will look great. I can use the fat Elvis guy. We'll move him over onto the desk into the shot. That's my dad. Oh, well, we'll move him onto the desk into the shot. I, I mean, it's a cool thing if it's your dad and all. That'll give it a family vibe, and these end balls will give it funk. A funky edge with vibe. That's what my internet's all about. Great. I'll talk Cam to the program. We'll make this puppy sing. Meanwhile, maybe your guy could make some coffee? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we could do that. Jimmy, we're ready. Four, three, two, one. Can you give me a little more, please? Uh, yes, of course I can. Jimmy. I, um, <clears throat> let's see, I... 
I yes. let's see. You know, good idea. Let's see. Check, 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 check. check, check, check. Speed check. Ma 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 ma. Big radio voice in this check. one, man. Ma 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 ma. Ms. Rodriguez, you gotta save us, baby. Can you give me a little more? Uh, yes, of course I can. I. JB. was studying medicine at the University of Michigan and one day the Dean of Admissions pulls me aside and tells me that I don't look like a medical doctor and so he has me thrown out. JB. The next thing I know I am standing in front of my dorm thinking what the hell does a doctor look like? I'm a bit miffed and a whole lot relieved because now I don't have to study so freaking much. All of a sudden I'm thinking the who, what, where, when, and why of stereotypes and of the metaphorical thought process of human beings. And I realize right then and there that as long as storytellers reinforce stereotypes, stereotypes will exist. JB, the shot is set. profound. Yeah, ain't it? So what kind of doctor were you studying to be? Cardiopulmonary specialist. Really? Yeah. I can see an aneurysm coming a mile away. Look, JB my only lecture. You gather your little troop, your cameraman, your tech guy, sound, whatever, we shoot this thing. We're done. I expect to be holding in my hot little digital mitt here an interactive DVD infomercial that screams, hi, I'm Joe Coffey, king of the digital universe. You can't do that. Don't even bother cashing this check. Capiche, we simpatico. It's a deal. JB. Hey, the coffee's on me. JB, the shot is set. Okay, Jim. Can we get rolling here? All right, everybody. The shot is set. Thank you, Mr. Dillman. Well, I'm just telling you. Yeah, I got it. I'm telling you so you can get your guy on the All set. All right. I don't oh, understand. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't understand. How hard is it? You stick some grounds into a filter, you pour water and flip a switch. Any idiot can do it. If I remember correctly, JB, I wrote you a fairly substantial check for this little shindig. Isn't food service usually provided on can these things? Can he stay seated, please? I mean, maybe I'm the one being the idiot here. But is it too much to expect oh, one listen. goddamn cup of coffee before we start? Light. Please. I'm trying to Show, set listen, here. we'll get you some coffee. When? Tony can't help it if you don't have any filters. When? We've looked everywhere. You can't make coffee without coffee filters. Just use a sock or something. Listen. Girl, you got any extra nylons out in the car? <sighs> Joe, listen. As soon as we set up, I'll send Tony on a run. Why are the audience is dying in the room? Oh, a little bit. Um, I'm probably going to still cut in at the same thing. Right there. Um, what I'm going to do is just cut. Look, man, listen to the sound. Don't worry about it. Dick. I'm going to go through just a little Joe, you're needed on the set. Hey, don't. So, now I guess I have to run sound for the next one. Two cameramen one day, and you're acting. You know, yeah, no problem. Or off. Right? Am I looking toward the camera or off? Yeah, it's a Zen okay. ball okay. thing. Digital. Does it look right? We're here in the studio talking about the base issues. Of course, I'd be happy to share that information with your audience, Cam. First, I came up with the name Clear Digital. Now, my second choice was Digital Vibe. Now, I really liked both names, but then I found out they were both already taken. Trademarks and all being what they are, unfortunately, I couldn't use either of them. I can only imagine you found that to be disappointing. Yes, but yes, great things great, happen. Great things no, no, no. thrust themselves out of the mire of disappointment. My concept, my concept was so simple. To create a futuristic company that was the internet. A company that could help everyone be part of its bigness. The expanse is full of synergy. The internet is synergy. So the name I chose had to be all inclusive of that synergy. 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 I see. Well, we're all dying to know what came next. On the 14th, 14th day, day of the 5th day, month, fifth which month, which is 19, if you add it up, right? 19, at 3 a.m. in the morning, it just came to me. So, that's 19 and a negative 3, which leaves 16. It's in the first half of the year. Half of 16 is 8, right? Which happens to be my strongest number. On that day, in the a.m. hours three years ago, it just came to me. The clear, digital vibe. vibe. Digital vibe. Digital, 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 clear, digital vibe. Then I dropped the word clear, which just left digital vibe. Hyphenated, pronounced different. I'm all set for the new age. I see. 
but we're all dying to know what happened next. Where the f is that kid with my coffee? Cut. Let me tell you, this water ain't cutting it, guys. It's okay, take your time and get back into it. Wow. So that's how all this really began. Wow. The digital vibe. Digital. Clear. Digital vibe. Wow. Wow. Let me say that's quite an inspirational story. Wow. Uh, honestly, I don't like to talk about it because it always just sounds like I'm bragging. I scored 143 on the IQ test. That's just two points shy of genius. Wow. Wow. Digital vibe. Wow. I'm not really what you'd call a traditional businessman. I'm just a hippie at heart. I was raised on communes. And I was damn good at it. I could talk anyone into buying anything, anytime. <laughs> I started thinking about karma. John Lennon, order of the universe. Making my little girl Jessica laugh just by Clean your little belly. No, 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 it's digital. Digital, not digital. Now that's four times I've had to correct you, sweetheart. I asked for a professional. I am paying for a professional, and I can't even get her to state the product name correctly. Well, there's no distinction made between the two pronunciations in my script. Look, this is serious business, sweetheart. I'm working at product identification. I'm spending big money here, so get it right, okay? Sorry if it hurts, honey, but taking the big one always does. Just Get it right. Oh, nail and buzz. Yes, the digital vibe charges a lot of money for our services. I'll stand tall in the face of that, but that's because I provide my clients with slamming designs which no one else in the marketplace can provide or imagine. Look, I know what they do over at Razorfish, okay? I know what they do at all the other top companies, and what I do is unique. And listen hard to this one artistic fact here, sweetheart. Unique is what separates Picasso from the guy in his basement next door painting a snow-covered tree by using numbers. I deliver cutting-edge art for the web, and I believe that's worth something. What the hell are you looking at? What, what, something I got warts all over my face? I'm just doing my job, empathizing and responding. Don't get into a pissing match with me, sweetie. Your tits aren't big enough. <laughs> you know, JB, it's unfortunate, but I don't think Cam is working out. She's not getting the program. I don't like you, sweetie. You're a bore. I would feel insulted if you did like me, you pompous, misogynistic <laughs> prick. I like to work as much as the next actor, JB, but I refuse to subject myself to this. And a bit of advice, Einstein. Two points shy of genius only qualifies you as a non-genius. So don't milk the cow if it ain't there. And don't call me sweetie. Come on, guys. Where the hell's your boy with my coffee? Yes, ma'am. Hey, Deborah. Oh, good you. That, that, no, seriously, some girls can't wear things like that. First, I came up with the name Clear Digital. I bet you look in the halter top. I mean, not everybody can wear a halter top. You know, it's like eyes with thongs. I mean, right. My second choice is Digital Vibe. I really liked both names, but then I found out they were both already taken. Trademarks being what they are. Cut. What? Honey, I can't do this. I'm right in the middle of taping. My infomercial, I told you this morning when I left, why are you calling? Now I told you not to bother me today. Honey, I don't have time for this. I don't have the time. No, I don't have time. You're not listening to me. Yes, I'm stressed, I'm stressed. Why am I stressed? Why do you think? That's back in the shot. Look, I don't, I can't do this now. <laughs> because I'm telling you, I can't do this now. Jennifer, no. <laughs> because you're babbling and you're not making any sense and I'm going to hang up on you. I'm going to hang up on you. you think this is the I, I'm going to hang up on you. I, look, look, I'm paying by the hour here and you've already wasted a couple hundred bucks of the, the company's money with this silly phone conversation. Honey, listen to yourself. You're babbling like an idiot. I don't have time for this. My wife. I love her, but she can be one big flaming rag. <laughs> so, sweetie. You yeah, ready? Yes, I'm ready. But you don't talk to me the way you did to that last girl because I am not going to be nice to you unless you play nice with me. <laughs> hey, don't laugh at me, Mr. Coffee. Porque no te lo voy a aguantar. No te tengo miedo ni a ti ni a tu familia. Ringo coño, gringo pendejo. ¿Qué te crees? No te tengo miedo. No te creas que te tengo miedo.
好 fit 哟。That's all I should have to deal with is the camera, not the camera, the sound, the lighting, and getting this head a cup of coffee. Hey man, I'm I'm just trying to sell some donuts here. Hey, what is wrong with you anyway, huh? Why are you so uptight, man? Huh? I thought you were a hippie. Why don't you chill? Dick. I cannot deal with this dick. Dick. <laughs> dick. Dick. Where's my coffee? Dick. <laughs> dick. Dick. We don't need him. You and me, we can do this thing. Trust me. There's a good vibe happening here. We can do this. No, oh, I'm serious. I mean, how hard is it to run a camera? I mean, you look through a lens, you push a button, any of you can do that. Listen, what say you and me scoot on over to Little Jane's Cafe, okay, and we suck down a double mocha. In fact, you, why, why, why don't you just bring your camera stuff right over there? I mean, Little Jane's got a real funky vibe going on. We'll grab the picture of my old man off the wall, stick him behind me on the shot. Believe me, we can do this. It's all about the synergy. Mr. Morgan, I'm really sorry. You wouldn't believe Finally, that. my goddamn cup of coffee, you ignorant sh Hey. Where the hell have you been, huh? No, JB, I refuse to take this crappy little attitude from someone whose best trick is holding a cup for the organ grinder. Hey, where's my, my coffee? Where's my coffee? Hey. Enough. It's cold. Then don't drink it. I don't think I like you, Joe. You have to like me. You just have to cash my check. You should lay off the coffee, Joe. You're about four days away from having an aneurysm. Trust me, I can see him coming a mile away. You're right, this is silly. <clears throat> I'm ready. Some kind of an idiot. 